Okay, we're going to do an EKG on our patient. The first step is to verify the order. Okay. And the next step is to maintain a sepsis, which is washing your hands and putting on gloves. And then we need to obtain the equipment. Which it's right here already. <laughs> so we already got it. And then Amanda's going to identify herself to our patient. Mr. Simonson, I am Amanda from Rescue Park. I'm here to do your ECG. Check your name, Ben. 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 That's right. <laughs> Next, Amanda's going to position the patient. <laughs> Sir, can you please lay down? And enter the patient information. Okay, now we're going to place the leads. V1 is located in the fourth intercostal space right of the sternum. V2 is located in the fourth intercostal space left of the sternum. V4 is placed in the fifth intercostal space in the midclavicular line. V6 is placed in the fifth intercostal space in the mid axillary line. V3 is placed between V2 and V4. V5 is placed between V4 and V6. Six. This is the right arm. Then these are all numbered one through six.
and complete the procedure. Okay, we do a hold still and breathe normally for about 10 seconds. And there's our EKG. And I'll be taken to a doctor who read. The last step is to document or chart the procedure and place a copy in the patient's chart. Thanks. <laughs>